So what is Python? Now Python is a high level general purpose language. It's basically a multi-paradigm language which supports object-oriented, functional programming, structured programming, and procedure-oriented programming. Okay, don't close the window. Okay, so we'll go step by step. Now, what do you mean by a high-level language? See, it's coming from year 1991. That's where Python was first released, and that's why it's way back before Java or other modern languages came into picture. But yes, it is getting famous now, but it's an old language. Now, in that era, we had a lot of languages, right? Now, most of the languages were working on directly on the machine. So maybe it is very close to the hardware. But Python, on the other hand, it basically it's a high-level language. Now, why do we need a high-level language? Now, first of all, if we talk about your machine, it only understands one language, which is binary language, ones and zeros. That means if you want your machine to work as you want, you have to basically talk to it using ones and zeros. I know you're not comfortable with that. And that's where we have to write in different languages. Maybe there was a time we used to use assembly language where you have to pass commands to do certain things. Example, if you want to add two numbers, you say add A comma B. So basically A will have a value, B will have a value, and then you add them. Now, even that was not comfortable. We wanted to build huge applications. And that's where we moved from one language to other languages, things started evolving, and then we got one perfect language, which is C and C++, and they were working fine. But then it's difficult to learn C and C++. Somewhere we need an easier language to work with. That's where Python came into picture. Now, it's a language which is high level. That means it is very near to English. That means whatever we, we see there, you will feel, okay, that's an English language. It's just that when you write that code, that code gets converted into a machine code. So yes, there is someone who will convert that. Maybe an interpreter or a compiler will talk about that those things later. But we need someone who will convert that. So you write a high-level language, which is similar to English. And when it runs on the machine, that's where it gets converted. Or before you run it on the machine, it gets converted. Next, we talked about general purpose language. That means using this language, you can build any kind of application is not specific to one thing. Maybe if you want to build a simple calculator which works on your machine, we can do that. If you want to build a web application, you can do that. If you want to build an AI-based application, you can do that. So we can use it everywhere. I mean, most of the places. Then we talked about different paradigm. See, the thing is, different languages follow different paradigm. Uh, so we have this concept of procedure-oriented programming, where you work with procedures. We have a concept of object-oriented programming, where we have objects. So example, for procedure, we got C language. For object, we got Java, C Sharp. Uh, then we got uh, functional programming, where you work with functions. And that's example for that would be JavaScript. But Python says, I can do all. Okay, so it's a multi-paradigm. And of course, it's not like other languages cannot work with other type. So few languages do support other types as well. So yeah, that's about Python is very, very famous. And the question is why it is famous. There are multiple reasons for it. Now, before we talk about it, let's go to python.org. And in this series, I might say Python, Python, that fine different pronunciation for the same thing now if you go to this website uh, this is where you can download the tools to work with python and uh, if you see what they're talking about is this so use for python language you can use it for web development using there's a library for that or framework we got django we got flask or tornado and for you can also build a geo application maybe it will make much more sense in the world of ai now uh, using, using these tools. So we can also use it for scientific and numeric purpose where you, you, you might have heard about sci-fi or pandas if you are exploring the AI world. Uh, we can also use it for software development, of course, and for system administration. But majorly, it's very famous nowadays because of AI, but also for web development. And I was telling about why it is so famous because of multiple things. The first one is it is one of the easiest language to work with. In fact, the founder of Python, Guido Van Rossum, basically built this language so that anyone can learn programming languages, not be only for specific people. So it's the easiest language to work with. And you will see why I'm, I'm saying that. Next, it has a huge community. So basically... Any language when you talk about and if they are famous is because of their community or maybe they have a good community because they're famous. Okay, it's a cycle basically, but you have huge community 
and you got a lot of libraries to work with. So it doesn't matter in which domain you're working with, you will see some libraries there. And in the AI world, most of the libraries are built in Python. Now, I know you are excited for the code and we'll do that from the next video.